just seem to be struggling nowadays. I'm not exactly sure what it is. Maybe the weather? I, it's kind of been raining and damp, so maybe that it's affecting could it. could always have something to do with it, so. It's not only just this full ride scholar. Whoa, 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 it's not even just this full ride scholarship. On the fifth day of Christmas, Loyola gave to me five consecutive wins. Here are some highlights from that game. Loyola down six, up with a shot, no. With this, another missed shot, the save, and he puts it in. Oh, and now Loyola's down 12. Now that was pretty good, Nick. I think he gives Stacy King a run for his money. Did you not get the memo? Uh, now, when Dr. Calhoun took over last spring, you thought you might still have a chance to participate. I, I told her, you know, Dr. Calhoun, I want to bring the pride back to Rambler basketball. I want it to be Jerry Harkness, LaRue Martin, Alfred Hughes, Garrison Carr. Did you have the same success? In the intramurals? Yeah, uh, my intramural teams have won, uh, I think, 42 uh, championships during my time at Loyola. Um, but I mean, you know what they say, after 27 you lose count, so I think my favorite one might be the 18 consecutive perfect games in bowling. Five consecutive wins! I even ran the race with one of my colleagues, Rebecca Baer, but it didn't go as well as I would have hoped. So eventually I wound up uh, right on Lakeshore Drive which was not even close to the racetrack. This is not our studio, where are we? No, this is not. We're in the Genteel Arena right now. It's midnight madness tonight. This is Nick Amatangelo from the Rambler Sports Locker. This is Nick Amatangelo once again. I'm courtside with Cully Payne. He's a junior this year. Now I'm here with Jeff White. He's a freshman. Now, Cully, this is, you've had to sit out for two years. Now, Jeff, what led you to come to Loyola? Thanks, Nick. Free t-shirts here. Free t-shirts. News team. Assemble! That's a triple whammy, folks. Whammy, whammy, whammy. You can't beat luck like that. Uh, Brick, Brick, Brick. Camera's over here, Brick. I'm, uh, I'm gonna have to go with uh, Miguel Cabrera. Why, Brick? Uh, because that's the name of a very old wooden ship in the Civil War era. Is it really, Brick? Yeah. Okay. Great Odin's Raven. Brick. Uh, I invited the whole women's team to the pants party. Dude, it's a party in your pants and you're invited. By the beard of Zeus, the cross-country team runs fast. Do you want to come to the party? In my no, place? no, I don't right, want to come right, to the party. Right, Let's right, go. Right, 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 right. Sweet Lincoln's mullet. The women's volleyball team is in the hunt for the Horizon League regular season championship. The team will look to senior Anna Etchison, who currently leads the Ramblers with 347 kills on the season. And now it's time for the weekly ramble. Uh, Joe, uh, what happened to the sleeves in your sweater? Quite simple, Pat. You know what they say? Sun's out, guns out. Dude, sunset. Got him! <laughs> Just when you thought it couldn't get any more ridiculous on this show, Vanina Gingerella has a whole bunch of drunk people in speedos. Do you, do you see any targets near here? Yes, I do. What are you gonna do about this? I'm gonna eliminate the targets. I just know that um, Mark Rick's the coach for um, the other team. Georgia? 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 Is there more? I hope not. I really hope not. This has been terrible. No, I'm just kidding. I love it here. No, if I don't. All right, well. Happy Valentine's Day, guys. Nice Thanks. matching pink ties. Mm, they're not they're quite the same color, but that's all right. Joke's on you. You guys are going to see them next. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Joke's on me. What is the better? Sports City, diehard New York fan, diehard Chicago uh, fan. Uh, is it New York? It, is it Chicago? It's definitely yeah. my hometown. I mean, Time. how many of the Cubs won in your life? Remember Jordan, Jordan Duncan over John Anybody Stark? who New York's ever produced. It he's, hurts. He's, on, it John. hurts me so. Psych. You <laughs> see? It's a little early for all this emotion. Do you want me to start? Yeah. Alright, buddy. Bye from the Brendan Bond. 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 Brendan Bond Memorial Podium. May God rest his soul. <laughs> I'm Brendan Bond. Apparently, I'm the special guest, and this is my <laughs> memorial podium. Yeah. <laughs> I'm. It shouldn't really be a memorial podium. I'm still alive. This year, I want to give myself a point, but I don't think I can do that. <laughs> That would be a first. I want to give myself a point here. I want to give myself a point. <laughs> now, Coach Moser, where did you learn to dance like that? Thanks, Nick. I'll get buckets. 
Chris, you don't get buckets. Joe, I get buckets. No, no, no. Let's roll, let's roll oh, the clip. Let's roll the clip. <laughs> yeah, see, you're. That's the wrong video. How would you know? You, you weren't there. Oh, right. I wasn't there. Anyway. This is the Ramble Sports Locker. a couple of these pictures I'm showing you right here. These are pictures of bears doing things they're not supposed to do. Bears don't ride in bumper cars. Bears don't eat fancy dinners with people. Sputo su tutti vostri parenti. Do you kiss your mother with their mouth? Jeesh! No. Big L, come here. Take care of this what? for a second. What? What? What yeah. did I do? Yeah, huh? you don't do No, I, we know each other no. for like 15 years, man. Hey, hey. <laughs> it's better. Whatever that stands for. What's your favorite Christmas song? Mm. I'm really a fan of Adam Sandler's Hanukkah song. Something about those eight crazy nights. <laughs> what do I want for Christmas? I wish Detroit were bankrupt. Let's see. I want a Barbie Dream House, Barbies, and a pink Corvette. Okay. Alright, well we're doing this now. Is, is my shirt green? Does Nabil's hair point to the North Star? Crap, crap, Beginning next semester, we will no longer be referred to as the Rambler Sports Locker. Because move over, Martha Stewart, because Arts and Crafts with Grace and Joaquin is guaranteed to be a TV sensation. This is Sports Science with Chris Lehman. I'm Chris Lehman. And yes, I am flexing. You saw there's two guys down here trying to guard him. Uh, but they couldn't guard him. You ever hear about the good old formula? A squared plus B squared equals, you know what that equals? Getting buckets. There's nothing to it. I believe I can. What has always bothered me about professional basketball? The fact that it doesn't accept short, skinny Colombian kids. I don't actually know anything about sports. Oh, I already knew that ever since you told me you were a Red Wings fan. I met up with our own Chris Lehman and challenged him to a race because, hey, how hard can it be to run in a straight line? As we stepped up to the starting line, I was feeling pretty confident. Until... Go! Did you guys just see that? That wasn't even close. That was rough. I felt bad. That's it for this season of the Rambler Sports Locker. Be sure to keep up with us on RamblerSportsLocker.com. Evansville is currently one spot above Loyola in the conference rankings. They're too far. <laughs> Um, well, I'm not too sure what that was about. Wait, where'd Clark go? Oh, Clark had to handle some, uh, uh some uh, breaking news. So Superman will be, uh, filling in for him today. Has been talking about changing their mascot from the from Lou Wolf and the Ramblers to the Ignatius Iguanas. Do you like that change? Do you have any thoughts on it? Maybe the dumbest thing you ever heard. If that happens, I swear to God, I'm dropping out. Yeah, it's happened. It's yeah. Official thing? Are you kidding me? Here at the locker, we've all caught the hockey bug, so please excuse any strange behavior from any of our staff members. Hockey! I'm so, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's, it's that darn hockey bug. It is so infectious. <coughs> This school is much more funny when we weren't in flu season. Yeah, and I haven't even had my flu shot. You know, making predictions is not as easy as you think it might be. Um, unless you're a psychic, which, you know, unfortunately, I'm not. Hell surfing? 
People call it a sport, but it's more a mindset. All surfing is like the competition of life. You know, like if you fail at all surfing, you kind of sort of fail at life. It's it's really all the same. High five. Clean ride. I don't know why I'm breathing so hard. I don't know if it was this run or if you're the one that just took my breath away. Let's switch around, swing. Yeah. I don't know about you, but I want a margarita. Uh, is that depressing? Oh. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Just before we introduce our contestants, I would like to say, because of some of the recent shenanigans, I have to bring a stress ball now, according to my doctor. Hey y'all, and welcome to this week's Weekly Ramble. I'm your host, The Wonder Twin. Uh, wait, I should probably change. Form of a ramble host. So, we are in NBA season. There is no possible way Kentucky would ever beat 76ers in one game, let, it go, let alone a seven game series. So I'm going to excuse myself from this debate, and I hope you all both have a Merry Christmas. Marshall Lynch is sponsored by Skittles. We already confirmed that M&Ms are better during, we're not sponsoring anyone. And once again, this is why we should hate the Patriots. Look at the rift they've created between us. He also mentioned Calgary. And I this isn't really my phone. Hey, what's up, Joaquin? You kind of know that we're in a show right now, right? I'm not going to be on the show next week, apparently, because I have to go through sensitivity training. As always, don't forget. Don't forget. And don't, don't forget. forget. And don't forget. Don't, don't forget. forget. Don't forget to turn out the lights.